Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is April 23rd of 2019. It is 6 p.m., actually 6, 11 p.m. Uh, as you can see, I still have not made 3,000 subscribers. Yes, I am type 2 diabetic, type diabetic, and I am eating little tiny candy bars. My son buys them after on sale after Easter, after Easter. And when they're laying out there, I can't stop. I can't keep from eating them. As I said, I just can't make it to 3,000 subscribers. See, I made a YouTube video yesterday, I think it was, hour and 23 minutes. It was nine hours ago. It's got 14 views. I made a video, it was an hour, two days ago, it's got 21 views. Made a video a little bit over an hour, that was two days ago, and it's got 236 views. Coke Zero. Uh, zero calories. Total fat zero. Sodium 40 milligrams. That's 2% of your daily amount you're supposed to have. Total carbs is zero. Total sugar is zero. Uh, added sugar is zero. Potassium, uh, 60 milligrams, that's 2% of what you need a day. Uh, I take uh, water pills. Uh, and because of that, I should take, and sometimes I do, in fact, I did today, should take a potassium capsule. Because if you urinate and you flush a lot of potassium out of your system, your heart, I guess, needs, and your system needs potassium in there for the signals to go to tell your heart to do stuff, so. Coke Zero shouldn't be too bad, should it? What you're saying, water would be better, huh? This radio here. Uh, well, here it is. Uh, ham radio, 2 meter and 440 megahertz. It um, also does digital fug fusion. There's a lot of repeaters here in Texas that are set up for fusion. And the uh, neat thing about it is those repeaters know if you use just uh, non-digital ham radio and you uh, use the repeater, it will send a signal. If somebody has a fusion radio, it'll send it out or it'll translate it into fusion digital. Uh, pretty neat. And this radio isn't that expensive. 
The problem is the software that is free that comes and the cable is free that comes with it. I did a video on that may be, I'm not sure, the one. It's a son of a bitch. <laughs> you have to take the battery out, then you plug in the uh, to USB, and then you turn the radio on, and then you disconnect the power. Oh, you put the battery back. I don't know. It's a bunch of... So... Uh, there is software that, uh, well, I think I have that in my cart or where, where is it? Yeah. Where's Amazon here? Well, let's go to Amazon. I think I'm going to order it today. Hate to, uh, cause this was a good, uh, yeah, here it is. Um, you know this this software. I've used their software to get for from this company for other um, radios, and it's good software. And with this one, you just plug it into your. Uh, microphone input anyway for this price you get the software and the cable and uh, then you just hold down a key or whatever turn the radio on then you're there and then you can use the software you can use the software to set the radio up load all the frequencies and that type of stuff so I guess I'm going to go ahead and do that. Bummer. Because I just don't want to mess with that other way. I have, but I don't want to do it again. Speaking of ham radio. Ah. Uh, Let's see here. Uh, Dick, a friend of mine, sent me this link. There is a person, a ham radio operator in... The Netherlands that has his, radio, has his computer and his... He has a uh, card plugged into USB, I believe for uh, uh, oh my god my mind is going uh, software digital radio let me turn to what's what's interesting about this is there are sites in fact I've shown you on a video that you can go to where you can log in and you can tune a person's radio and those sites are all over the world. This one, you can do that using this software to find radio. And, but more than one person can, I don't know how many, 255, I don't know how many, more than one person can be logged in. And at the same time. And, uh, you know, doing their own separate things. Let's see, this is... Uh, Let's go to 10 megahertz here. See if we can pick up WW. Of course, WWB is here in the United States, but. Okay, we're not at. Let's go up a little bit here. Go by more here.
That's uh, WWV, National Bureau of Standards, I believe in Colorado, here in the United States, being picked up by a uh, radio that is, receiver that is in the Netherlands. Uh, wonder if, well, let's see. I don't want, I'm not going to do this too long. I just want to, I just want to show it to you. They call this a waterfall here. Let's go down here and click and see what's going on down here. Anyway, I'll put the link below for that. You can play around with it. You do not have to be an amateur radio operator to use that receiver because you're not transmitting. You know, you are receiving only. I live in an apartment. If I lived in the country, and especially if I lived someplace like a pie or maybe, you know, like down in Florida or something, or there's someplace in a good position, I would set up, uh, if I could put an outside antenna, I'd set up a radio and I'd be doing, you know, doing that, make it, make it available to people 24 hours a day, seven days a week or whatever. I mean, that wouldn't replace YouTube or whatever. I'd just be doing that as an extra thing, but no point in doing it here, living in a, you know, an apartment where I can't put an outside antenna. Okay. Um, I want to recommend this to you. Hot Ones. And it looks like all we get on YouTube is Season 5. And I'm not sure. It must be available on a pay. Let me do a search. Or hot ones and see where let's see maybe pull up Wikipedia or something hot ones is a web series created by let's see da, da, da. Uh, it says network YouTube why are we only seeing, anyway, it's really, uh, really good. Uh, come on, how come there's not more? I'm, as you can see, I'm subscribed to it. Oh, I see. Here we go. I just need to go up here, and there you go. Click on the other seasons. 
So I've only watched about three or four episodes of it, so I, I'm going to start binge-watching and start with, you know, season one. And it's only a 30-minute... Wait a minute, it's even less than that. Well, I wonder if it started out... Yeah, I think it must have started out and it must have changed the format a little bit as it became more popular or something. Let's see what season three looks, you know, because I think it's up to like 30 minutes now. Looks like it's getting a little bit longer. So, yeah, I think that it seems like it's about 30 minutes and he does a fantastic job of it. Um, and he has on people that you know. Uh, and they talk. Sort of like uh, comedians in cars, except this is better. Uh, so I recommend this to you, and I'll put the link below. Maybe when I put the link below, I can take you directly to season one. So you can, you know, otherwise you can go up here and click or whatever. Um, okay. want to recommend to you this movie. Oh, gosh, I forgot what is on. Hulu, I think that's it. I think this is on Hulu. I'll, there again, I'll put a link to the, uh, not to Hulu, but I'll put a link, and I'll, I'll, I'll make sure and tell you. It's the Sister Brothers, and, uh, Okay, this is an official trailer. I think I can show a little bit of this and not have a problem with with uh, YouTube or with some if there's if there's music involved, these automated systems, somebody's going to claim it it's theirs property. I, I tell you. Anyway. Well, hopefully I stopped any music at all is going to get <laughs> tagged. Um, that, it's really a good, I watched it, I think, yesterday or the day before. The Sisters Brothers, who, if I remember correctly, and it's two hours uh, long, I believe, and it's... Uh, It's uh, really well done, and you, I could tell, must have, from the book, they must have done, the, the author who wrote the book, or whatever, must have done a really good job. Uh, the cinematography is fantastic. The casting is really good. Um, just the, the look of it makes you feel like you're there. And uh, so I, I recommend that to you, and I'll put a link down below. Um, now the other, you know, I would rate the Sister Brothers, I'd rate that five, you know, on a scale of one to five. And this, The Lost Fair, this is the trailer for that. And I wouldn't give it a five, but it's interesting. It's an interesting movie. And um, I recommend it to you. This is the trailer, so as soon as I hear a 
any music at all, I'm going to stop it. I'll put the link, though, to the trailer. And I believe this is also on Hulu. I'll, below for the link or whatever, I'll mention, I'll, you know, I'll tell you. You're supposed to be working. Where's the cripple? If anybody's hiding, look, girl, you better stay around. Oh, and before that crazy man kills us all. Well, we got to go back. So, uh, I think, yeah, I think that's it. I'm going to order this software for, I, I guess you're not really interested, you know, but I'm going to order today the soft software for this and the cable. And, oh, yeah, that's one reason I'm going to do it is I, I, uh, want to load in a whole bunch of the frequencies rather than I, I programmed in some by hand and a few using the software free software and the cable that came with it but I want to put in more frequencies and what I'm planning on doing is putting in a bunch of the ham radio repeaters and then I can also go through the ham radio repeaters to other locations or whatever what I'm going to do is um, usually once a week or once a month or something like that, uh, ham radio clubs uh, have a net that they hold every night or day or whatever at a certain time on a certain frequency and people check in. What I'm going to do is because I I need to uh, I need to get out and walk. I can hardly hardly walk any distance at all. I'm just so totally exhausted all the time and weak. But what I'm going to do <clears throat> the nets sometimes last 15 minutes, sometimes 30 minutes, sometimes an hour or something, depending on how many people check in. <clears throat> Some of the networks. Uh, uh, you know, or civil defense or uh, sky worn for weather and stuff like that. So, but what I'm going to do is put in, well, I'm going to put them all in there, the, the repeater channels. Then I'm going to tell Echo, I can say Echo because I'm using the A word instead, uh, as a timer, you know, as an alarm or a timer, I guess, to, uh, announce such and such a network at a time you know in, in common and tell me um you know cowtown ham radio net at such and such a time then i'm going to go outside because it will I'll be better be able to well i want to walk around too but i'll better be able to you know you'll receive better being outside and then I'm going to, and if the net lasts for 30 minutes or whatever, I'm going to walk around the parking lot here and listen on the radio. And I will try to uh, live stream maybe using my cell phone. Or what, may, what I may just do is uh, take one of my cameras and... Uh, record me walking around the parking lot and it'll be picking up the net at the same time and do that but I'm doing it to because I need to walk because I'm not getting any uh, more I'm not getting you know I used to be mobile mobile and then all of a sudden I actually think it's one of the two medications that I'm taking and next time I get in to see my doctor well, the cardiologist, it won't do any good because the cardiologist I've told in the last couple years that I can hardly stand up and hardly walk. And the cardiologist says, your pacemaker is working great and your heart is working great and there's no reason for you to be, you know. So I got to convince my uh, doctor that one of these most 
and I don't see because I can't, I'm not able to pinpoint at what, you know, like, I think both, I got two medications about the same time. But, but even at that, I'm not able to remember. When I was in Florida years ago, I was given a medication for cholesterol control. And so I started taking it. And then at some point, every muscle in my body hurt. And I'm not good at like uh, paying attention to my body or whatever. And so it never occurred to me that it was a medication. I just thought, oh, okay, well, it's old age. Old age has hit me and this is terrible. I mean, it, and uh, I was, you know, thinking, you know, well, it, this is way, you know, God arranges things. This is, otherwise you'd be saying, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. But uh, when you get to the point where every muscle in your body hurts, uh, then you, you're ready to go. Okay, take me. I'm ready to go. And then at some point I finally looked up the medicine that I was, the cholesterol medication. And it actually said in there, uh, one of the, you know, negative effects that some people have is that every muscle in their body hurts. And I went, oh my God. And so I stopped taking that cholesterol medication. And then I went back to being uh, okay. Uh, walking around, feeling great, you know. Feeling great. Uh, I walked one night. I had some friends come from Kansas City, uh, two uh, identical twin brothers that I, I worked with, actually worked with both of them, but I worked with one in the uh, security department. The other brother worked in purchasing or something. And they came to Miami and I went down there and met them. And uh, we talked for hours and hours. And then it was like 11 o'clock or something like that. And I thought, oh, wait a minute. Uh, I think the rapid transit stops, you know, working or whatever. And they said, we'll drive you. And I said, no, 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 no. I'll just go over and catch the rapid transit and I, whatever. So I went over there and it, it has stopped running. I think I had to wait like an hour or something for, you know, I think one land right every 30 minutes. And the, uh, it was kind of confusing and I asked some people and they just, you know, over there, you know, over there, whatever. I didn't know where I was even supposed to catch the thing, you know, because they, they stopped running the tr transit. So there was like one bus or two that covered the route of all the station, you know. So anyway, I, I caught it, the uh, bus, and it took me out. Uh, and then I walked... I got there, and really I should have, there was a bunch of people there, you know, waiting for when the, for when the, bu the other buses started running, none of the other buses were running, just the bus that ran between these stations. And the buses would start running, I think at 5 a.m. or something like that, and I think it was like midnight, and uh, so I just started walking. And I got almost to the place that we were renting. And the bus came. So, I mean, I walked for like five hours or something, nonstop, five hours. And I might as well have just stayed there because then I could, have, I could have sat there for five hours or lay down on a bench for five hours and uh, got on the bus and I'd, I'd got there without walking all that distance. But I did, that's what I could do then, which I have trouble walking to the mailbox and back here. Uh, by the way, I wanted to, re I was afraid to record it. In Miami, they were having, um, armored trucks pick up money 
they were being held up and they'd had a driver or a guard on the truck or several trucks had been shot and they'd had other and you'd see armored trucks brinks or wells fargo whatever they were then driving around in miami and there'd be a security uh, vehicle driving behind them or a little bit behind them as they made their round so and they put an extra guard you know instead of having a driver and the guard they'd have an extra guard in the truck but anyway when i got out to this first place and then and the people there was uh, 20 people or so there waiting uh and i could have just sat there a unmarked truck showed up and i forget what kind of truck it was it didn't look like an arm it wasn't an, an armored vehicle type truck but it pulled up and i think there was a couple of cars that pulled up or whatever and the uh i think that was the last station or something rather before no i think it was one more station for the rapid rail to make it but some reason all the money collected i guess ended up at this place or something so it's like okay you know 1 a.m in the morning or something and i'm walking around to see if there's a good place to lay down or you know what what's there before i decided to walk and anyway out of the truck pops these people security guards and there must have been like seven or eight that i saw and they all had you know uh about three or four went inside the building which on the side i mean a door you know and they went in there and then there was uh, a guy with an assault rifle and there was a guy with a shotgun and i think there was another guy there someplace i think it was the guy with the assault rifle he was I mean, he was moving all over the place, going, walking back and forth in this little area, you know, and he was like, and I thought, oh my God, I want to make a video of this, <laughs> but I was afraid I might get fucking shot. But I, I to this day, I wish, oh, I wonder, I, 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 why didn't I make a video of that? But I was afraid to do it, because uh, they were, uh, they were hyped up. But anyway, then that I'm standing, so I stood there and watched, and they brought these big bags of, you know, coins and stuff, you know, loaded them on a cart and put them in this truck and whatever. That's a missed opportunity that I uh, would like to have. I, I think they would have thought they'd be mistaken. I think they would have thought they, uh, well, probably what they would have said is stop, and I would have stopped. But... I don't think they had the authority to, you know, actually tell me, make me stop. I think I could have, but I didn't want to push it. I'm not suicidal, you know, because uh, they don't, you know, sometimes those guys think they have more authority than what they have. And especially since they were being, you know, and they might think that I was uh, one who would be tipping people off to, hey, this is a, you know, location to go, but I'll also be tipping them off, you know, about what, uh, you know, that Barney Fife has an assault rifle and that he is, you know, he has more than one bullet in his pocket. So, um, oh, okay, I did not, oh, okay, this is uh, the hot ones. Did I tell you about that? I can't remember. But this is really, okay, I did because I mentioned that it was sort of like, uh, comedians in uh, comedians in cars so if you are not a subscriber I would love to get to 3,000 subscribers I only need 40 of you so if you're not subscribed please subscribe and click the bell so you will get a you'll get a notice I have by the way started doing some uh, let's see if I have a thing here for live. 
Uh, no, I don't think I do. Let's see, maybe there's uh, uploads. Anyway, I'm, I'm doing some live streaming video, but nobody's coming. I mean, you know, like, I'll do it for two hours and four people will show up. So, anyway, I do thank you for watching. Uh, there'll be some links below if you can use the Amazon link. I'll get a small commission. So try to do that. Uh, use the Amazon link, in fact, bookmark it or something. And then whenever you think you're going to buy, however, think you're going to buy something, just click on the link. You'll go there and you'll see a bunch of things that I've recommended. You don't have to pay any attention to those, but if you're there now, if you click and go someplace there, uh, whatever you got, you know, whatever you purchase or whatever, I'll get a commission. Uh, this month, I earned five dollars in commission, but I, well, at least Amazon, they pay you when you have ten dollars <laughs> or above, and uh, so the next month I'll probably be sure to get ten or fifteen dollars or whatever. But go ahead and use it because. God, if you own a company or something, a hotel, and you're buying, uh, if you own a hotel and you're buying from Amazon 50 uh, television, new televisions for the room or something, be sure and use my link or something like that, you know. So, thank you very much for watching.